Hi everyone, what is up? I have Willow, my Rosie Boa here, and that is a common name. And really quick, I wanted to touch on what a common name is and why it's debated if we should use them at all. While I have never been one to say not to ever use common names, I do kind of feel that they have somewhat of a place in the hobby. You know, some people are adamantly against them, that's not me, but what it boils down to is scientific names are the most accurate. So the reason why common names are not reliable is because, first of all, aren't even really documented anywhere. Secondly, a lot of tarantula species will look similar. There's Acanthid scaria geniculatus and there's Nandu chromatis. They look very similar. They both are called giant white knees, but they're two different species. And that is only one example of many. This is a problem. My advice to anybody new in the hobby that is overwhelmed is to don't feel like you're being attacked when somebody corrects you. There are so many, you know, experts that still make mistakes. We are here to make mistakes and learn from each other. There is no reason to be nasty about it. And some people will argue and say that people who have been in the hobby a long time will act elitist or uh, be gatekeeping by having this knowledge and pushing this information but they want the hobby to grow and they want people just entering it to learn and as somebody who's new to a hobby you would expect them to want to learn as much as they possibly could about what they're interested in right and part of the reason why I'm bringing this up is because a very good friend of mine has been scrutinized he's been labeled an elitist or a gatekeeper because he pushes scientific names he really likes the scientific aspect of the hobby. He is a great source of information. He has guided me from pretty much the second I entered in this hobby, and not just me, but many other beginners as well. That gentleman is David from Erie Arachnids. He really helped me learn. Part of the reason why I feel like I and where I am at already in the hobby is because of him and his willingness to tell me his mistakes, his willingness to correct my mistakes. And the problem here is that some people take criticism very personally. It's like you can't correct somebody without them accusing you of being this elitist. If you don't want to learn this information, only hindering yourself. Am I saying that using common names is going to result in that? No, but what I'm saying is accusing other people within the community who know more than you and have much more experience than you and tuning them out and saying la 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 I'm not listening I already know everything that is going to hinder you in the hobby part of the fun in the hobby is the community and making friends and getting to know people and sharing information and learning from each other and you know buying and selling and trading you know tarantulas breeding them this is all fun aspects of the hobby and if you want to go buy your rose hair from PetSmart and keep it in a box and have a rose hair for the next 15 years and just you know call it a rose hair name it Rosie whatever you know that's fine but if you are going to try to get in this hobby and especially if you're going to try to teach others about this hobby I think that you should know the information yourself. I think you should know you have a Grammastola Porteri or a Grammastola Rosea before you go and try to teach someone else about it. That's just going to perpetuate misinformation and that's going to cause new people entering the hobby to get more confused. So sorry, I didn't want this to turn into a rant, but it's just very frustrating when somebody comes into the hobby and they already know everything. And I can admit that I don't know very much at all. I am here learning with you guys. And to show people, you know, mistakes as they're made, um, experiences as they unfold. And I just don't believe that people should be scrutinized for trying to provide useful information to those new people entering the hobby. Isn't she sweet? sweet? Oh my gosh, I just seriously just love this girl. Okay, so anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it portrayed what I wanted to and that's it's not okay to attack people in the hobby for using common names and it is not okay to attack people in the hobby for using scientific names. What we're here to do is to learn from each other, to make this hobby better, and to help people get the right information. I just want that to be 
the message you get from this video. I hope that's how it came across. Please leave your comments down below. I really would like people to contribute to this discussion. Even if you disagree with me, I want to hear you out. I want everybody to get along. <laughs> and I think it's possible. So, um, you know, that's my piece. I've said it and I've it's time to, to just move on. Anyway, I have a really awesome feeding video for you guys. I'm currently editing. I think you're going to like it, and I will see you guys then.